We are in the final days of summer. For many kids, that means the start of the school year is just right around the corner. This was a perfect weekend, though, for families to hit that back-to-school shopping list. Yona Govino reports. Parents are clocking in a lot of man hours back to school shopping. They've got supply lists on paper and supply lists on their phones. It's the sound of back to school shopping. Parents armed with supply lists were determined to get in and get out. One stop, get everything, um, and then it's also a me and her time. This year, back to school spending is expected to average $630 for school children, according to the National Retail Federation. Alora Engel is picking up things for her cousin and herself. I already have my book bag from last year with my name on it, so I'm going to keep it this year. And I'm going back, I'm going to be going to shop for my shoes and the rest of my supplies. It's a high traffic aisle. Some essentials include lunch boxes, backpacks, there are lots of different styles to fit all different tastes. It became a scavenger hunt for Jenny Hayden. She's been to six stores and can't locate a wire-bound graph paper notebook. Well, they always give you the option to buy the box for a fee. And you think, I can do that in less money. And 1,700 hours later, it's not really very efficient. <laughs> Still, there's a reason she's going alone, leaving her third grade daughter and her sixth grade son behind. He's not allowed to come anymore because he'll look at the you know, electronics or he'll find something. They'll both disappear into toys. You know, there's like an $80 surcharge when you come here. Target officials say back to school shopping for college kids is also big. Folks picking up things for their apartments or dorm rooms. In West Milwaukee, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4.